Hello, I'm Luke Capwood. I'm joined by our Shrewsbury Town correspondent here at the Shropshire Star, Lewis Cox. Lewis, uh, these Norwich lads, Shrewsbury have got on loan, not half bad, are they? Well, yeah, I mean, they've been a massive part of this Shrewsbury season, this thrilling season. Um, it's been great to, to watch them sort of develop. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them have been really heavily involved. Ben Godfrey in central midfield and, and Carlton Morris, yeah. as of the last few months, certainly even going from before Christmas has, has been the lone striker. He's won that shirt from Stefan Payne. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's been really great seeing how they, they, have, they have developed sort of physically and as, as players, it's been really good seeing. I think it's been an excellent loan for Norwich's purposes, for Shrewsbury, for the players, really worked out well. Yeah. Of course, there was another Norwich lad uh, at Shrewsbury before Christmas, Ibu Adams, didn't quite work out for him and he's gone mm -hmm. on loan elsewhere, but, but the two certainly highly thought of at Shrewsbury, I think. And uh, of course, yeah, in the paper today as well and online, we've we've got uh, Carton bigging up Ben, so yeah, mm -hmm. worth a read. That's it, and you know, Ben Godfrey has done so, so well. I mean, he's got a big, big future in the game, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, certainly. I, th I think he's um, only recently turned 20, which is crazy to see. And what I was, uh, I was doing a bit of uh, research on his past at Norwich yesterday and, and after speaking to Carton about him, mm -hmm. he didn't come to Shrewsbury as a central midfielder, and that's baffling, really mind-boggling how well he's done because predominantly, mm. uh, apparently, he was a, a centre-back and right-back at Norwich. Oh, wow. I think I remember Paul Hurst saying that maybe at York, where he started, he had a bit in, in the middle, but to come in at League One level um, mm. and dominate midfields as he's done is quite exceptional, really, and um, I'm sure Norwich will be impressed with that, you know, whether he, he goes back there and, and becomes a centre-mid, we'll wait and see, but he, he's certainly got a massive future at the Canaries, I would say. And of course, January he was being linked with Premier League clubs, wasn't he? I think it was mm -hmm. West Brom and, and a couple of others. So he's obviously catching the attention of, of people. And yeah, interesting to see where his career lies, whether he'll, you know, he can push even further than Norwich. But I'm sure he's got an eye on the Norwich first team. That's it. I mean, Norwich obviously in the Championship at the moment. Shrewsbury, it's not not now the picture that they'll be in the Championship <laughs> next season. Obviously, doing still doing very very well this season. Is there any way that Salat maybe able to keep a hold of them? Um, who knows? I, I mean, Godfrey's a good age now, and he's. You know, by the end of the season, he's going to have had a fantastic season in League One. So yeah. maybe Norwich will think, you know, we're going to get him in the squad now. We're going to get him on the bench in Championship and get him to come on and, and see how he, mm -hmm. he copes out. I'd be surprised if they thought that Godfrey needed another loan in League One, certainly. Carl Morris is, is a really interesting one, actually. Um, this time last year, yeah. he he's 22 now, Carl Morris. This time last year, he signed a new three-and-a-half-year deal at Norwich. Mm -hmm. um, that was under their former boss, Alex Neal. The course changed now, and it's Daniel Farke. Yeah. Um, totally different management team. So, you know, we don't really know how they're viewing Carlton Morris' situation, but he's certainly got a long contract left there. They certainly, the club saw plenty in him to give him that long deal. Mm -hmm. um, ha, I would suggest that, you know, there's, there's every chance that Carlton Morris could have a, a future somewhere else other than Norwich beyond this season. You know, yeah. I don't. He, at the start of the season, he wasn't an ever-present for shoes. He, he is now. Um, he's got eight goals, which is a decent return for thirty odd appearances. Mm -hmm. But is it is it the return that is going to command him a place in, you know, a front line at Norwich? I'm not sure about that. But you know, he's certainly shown. And I think all Shrewsbury fans would agree that he's got all the attributes, physically and technically, to shine in in the football league. I think um, as part of a two on his own, as he has been. So, you know, would yeah, and this is just hypo hypothetically thinking, would Paul Hurst you know, go in for him, fancy having him as a, as a permanent squad player from beyond this summer. Mm -hmm. You know, why not? If, if at the right price, price, sorry, does it depend on whether Shrewsbury are in League One or the Championship? Yeah. Potentially, lots of um, sort of hurdles to overcome with that one. But, you know, he, the Shrewsbury fans have taken to Carlton Morris, I think, and mm -hmm. they appreciate his qualities. And he's an ambitious boy. He said to me the other day at Carlton Morris that he was thinking about where his future is going to lie whether at Norwich or, or elsewhere. So we'll keep an eye on that one and, and we'll see sort of how it develops. That's it. So two players who have done particularly well on loan at Shrewsbury from Norwich. For the latest on them, make sure you stay with us at ShropshireStar.com.